Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. Yeah, you know, I've been talking about film music a lot lately. I really have, because I just I just love it, and I, I love its relationship to the classics and to hear how classical music is used in films and classical composers wrote for films and how great film music composers wrote great what I consider to be classical music, incidental music. And there's a new disc that just came out on Chandos called Hollywood Soundstage. Yes, it features the Sinfonia of London under John Wilson, who's been doing an awful lot for the label, um, and, and some of it good and some of it rather not. But he actually has this background um, in, in sort of light classics and, and film music and stuff like that, which he's done extremely well, by the way. And so this is a, a, a very, very appealing record of, of snippets and sniglets of things from Hollywood. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's just let's just see what it was. What's on here and 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 that'll do ya. You can decide if you want it or not. It's very, very well done. It sounds great. I mean there's nothing not to love about the performances. First, Corngold, the overture from the private lives of Elizabeth and Essex. This is a big seven minute piece. A serious overture and it's it's beautiful. It works extremely well, um, all by itself. And it's full of, you know, corn gold lushness and just beautiful, yummy, gorgeous stuff. Absolutely fantastic. So that's a great opener. Then we have David Raxon, the theme from Laura, which was 1944. You know, Raxon was a very, very fine orchestrator. He worked with Charlie Chaplin in orchestrating his movies. One of you asked me about that when I talked about Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Raxon was one of his 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 co-orchestrators. But Laura is Raxon's most famous theme, and it was actually a, a bit of a controversial controversial thing when he first wrote it, because it was considered to be too much on the jazz side, not enough on the you know classical, typical, romantic, lush melody. It wasn't as memorable as the big tune, but it turned out that in the event, the theme from Laura, while not like hummable, that some of the other ones are is an absolutely exquisitely beautiful tune and unforgettable and moody and atmospheric and just just perfect for the movie it's really really beautiful and it's it's extremely extremely suggestive in this performance let's just say it's it's lovely absolutely lovely and then we've got let's see oh this is unbelievable herbert stothart and harold arlen the suite from the wizard of oz which is 11 minutes and 8 seconds. This is the most awful thing I've ever heard in my life. It is trashy beyond belief. It is ugly. It is stupid. It is formless. I wonder who actually did it. I, I can't believe these people. He did it. Let's see. It, it was orchestrated by George Bassman and Murray Cutter and Leo Arno, you know, the Olympic fanfare, that guy. I mean, the, the Wizard of Oz <clears throat> film was was a, the actual score was just a big mess. Lots and lots of people worked on it. And of course it had the great songs, it was marvelous songs. Um, and then it had, it had other music that was everything from, you know, the, the Happy Farmer by Schumann to a Mendelssohn Scherzo to, you know, other music sort of shoved in between. It was just a hodgepodge. And this suite is that, it is just a hodgepodge. It doesn't even use all the best tunes. I mean, it uses somewhere over the rainbow as a kind of refrain that comes between sections. And there are a couple, a couple bits of the incidental music, but not Arlen's other songs. So I don't understand the point. I mean, it was just 11 minutes of complete tedium and, and the, the harmonies are tacky. Oh, it's just loathsome. And so it's kind of fun to listen to. For that reason, I kind of enjoyed it. You can you can listen to it for yourself and see just what a mess it is. Ugh, it's terrible. And then we've got the Transylvanian March and Embassy Waltz from My Fair Lady by Frederick Lowe. It's lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Nothing not to love. And then Max Steiner, his suite from Now Voyager. That's a big work, almost 15 minutes long. And Steiner is just great. And that's, it's, a, it's a joy. And the tunes are wonderful. And it's vivid and colorful and full of variety and contrast and color. So there, yeah, it makes the Wizard of Oz suite sound all the more repulsive. Oh, God, that was awful. Let's see. Johnny Mandel, the main title from The Sandpiper. Well, the main title is a song called The Shadow of Your Smile 
which I sang in the Collegium Musicum when I was in high school and had a voice. I did have a voice at one point, believe it or not. And uh, it, it's, it, you know, the shadow of your smile when you are gone. I don't want to sing too much of it because I'll get a copyright claim. It's very copyrighted, extremely good. It's a pop song, right? So I got to be a little careful there. Um, but that's nice to hear with a nice trumpet solo played by, who's the trumpet solo here? Uh, Michael, Michael Lovett, it seems to be, or something like that. It's hard to, to read this thing. It looks like love it. Yeah, okay. Franz Waxman, the suite from Rebecca. Yay. Hitchcock. Oh, Mrs. Danvers, Mandalay in Flames. Lots of fire music here. Very good fire music. And last but not least, Alfred Newman, the street scene from How to Marry a Millionaire. A wonderful sort of jazzy collection of, of, of stuff. You know, it reminds me a little bit of an American in Paris, actually. You know, with bits wandering through and all that kind of stuff. It's just lovely. And that's the disc. Really, really a fine disc with one absolutely appalling track, which I think is in some ways just highlights how good the rest of it is and how terrible movie music could be also. And so you get the complete package. Let's just put it that way. John Wilson, the Symphony of London, Hollywood soundstage on Chandos. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.